So if I think about where growth is going to happen in 2019, we definitely see the advent of 5G starting to roll out and we'll start seeing how are people using this and what are the new products and services that are available. So I think that's a very hot area. I think we'll continue to see growth in more and more content being made available for streaming services to be available on mobile devices. We'll start seeing content being created now in different formats because we're no longer constrained by a broadcast schedule. So there's a, there's a relatively new company out there that's gonna be creating 10 minute episodes with content that's meant to be binged. And a couple other ones that may be just a little farther out. We started following esports very closely in the last year. We expect esports to be about a $1.5 billion industry in 2020. And that's a brand new market out there that gives us access to a interesting demographic. It's a younger demographic. It does skew slightly male. And with that large of an audience, we now can advertise to those folks as well. So we're going to watch that one very closely. What we're starting to see is a re-aggregation of content so that certain providers will bring together multiple sources of content and allow the consumer to get access to all of that. So that is, it's a great way to amass an audience. Once you have an audience, you can also then start profiling your audience and figure out how to advertise to them. But very important these days is to consider the data privacy issues. What we've seen in, over the last year and a half or so with a number of the hacks and uh, data breaches is that consumers are much more aware that their data is being collected and is being used. The vast majority of consumers tell us that they want the ability to see what's, co what's being collected, to edit what's being collected, and even delete what's being collected. Now we've seen regulation in Europe with GDPR, we've seen some additional regulation in California around data privacy, and it's my expectation that we will continue to see more and more regulation that's gonna flow out uh, because of the concerns. Now, interestingly enough, consumers are not radically changing their behaviors. They're still sharing data. They're just more aware of, of the data privacy issues and how data is being used. One of the other trends we're watching in 2019 is voice as an interface. If you think about it, most of us grew up with a keyboard as our first interface. And then we move to our thumbs. We all swipe a little bit now. All my, my children think you should swipe every screen they see. But voice is going to become the next interface. We're already seeing it with 20% of the population already using a voice activated device that might be on their mobile phone or a smart speaker, but it's just the beginning of it. Where I see voice becoming is it becomes the natural interface. I think 2019 is gonna be a very interesting year. We're gonna see a lot of changes in the telco media entertainment industry. We're gonna to continue to see M&A as we've seen over the last year and a half or so as companies go and acquire others to broaden their service offerings or vertically integrate. We're going to see continued explosion of streaming video. We're going to see new technologies coming on the forefront like 5G. And we see emerging other emerging technologies like voice, IoT, or around connected devices. 